Hey guys, so one of the topics that I want to talk to you about today is sleep, okay? Now, I'm one of the worst persons to be talking about sleep. If anybody that knows me knows that I don't get nearly enough sleep, I wake up way too early, and I'm permanently tired all the time. But I do know the benefit of sleep, and I do know that when I do get that sleep in, I feel way better and I can work way more. Um, and it's an ongoing battle with, on terms of my lifestyle habits that I'm continually trying to work on, is, is trying to improve my sleep patterns. But in terms of your weight management journey and trying to live a healthier lifestyle, sleep is super important for multiple reasons. First and foremost, that I kind of want to talk about is that when you're sleep deprived, when you're not at least getting seven hours of sleep, your appetite and hormonal signals get all thrown off. They get a little bit confused. They don't quite know what to do. And so your appetite hormones increase. And what ends up happening is that you feel more hungry on a day to day basis. OK, <clears throat> so you're hungrier, you're trying to find food, trying to track it down, and, and you want to eat all day long. Anybody that has been sleep deprived can attest to this, that you feel hungry all day long. And your emotional part of your brain, the part of your brain that, that drives and makes us want to eat the sweet and savory and chocolate foods that when we, we use food to, to kind of help curb our emotions and kind of numb, if you will, um, that part of your brain is in full tilt and it's going to be craving uh, the things that are, are sweet and savory, the things that are going to give us a nice hit of dopamine and make us feel better. OK, so your brain is constantly seeking out that those those dopamine, those foods that are going to cause that dopamine response and, and make you feel better. It's going to counteract the tiredness that you're experiencing. OK, one of the other things that's going to happen is that if you are tired, you are likely to move less. You're likely to not take the stairs or it's going to be harder to push yourself to take the stairs. You're not going to park at the back of the parking lot. You might not go to the gym and get that workout in. You might just come home and just didn't just want to lay on the couch. That might be all that you want to do because you did not sleep well the night before. So that's how important sleep really is for for trying to get you to get up and keep moving and to stay active on a day to day. If you don't got the energy for it, well, you're just not going to do it. Right. Now, the final thing that happens is that when we're tired, our prefrontal cortex, the front part of our brain, which separates us from the animals, if you will, um, it gets tired, too. Right. There's only so much resiliency and so much so much gas it has in the tank, essentially, um, for making smart decisions on a day to day basis. And if you're tired, it's going to have less gas to make those decisions. So you're going to have a limited amount of decisions that you can make. And generally early in the day, you might be OK. But as the day wears on, your prefrontal cortex is going to make less and less um, cognitively you know, smart decisions, if you will. And you're more likely to pick the foods that aren't as nutritionally valuable as for you or less likely to go and get that activity in or less likely to complete your to-do list when you get home from work just because your prefrontal cortex is going to have that conversation with you and say nah you're tired go relax sit down do your own thing you don't need to do that work that's okay blah 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 and it's going to go through that process and that conversation because your prefrontal cortex it's tired it doesn't have anything doesn't have anything left in the tank if you will OK, so there's kind of three main things that happen if you don't get enough sleep and why it becomes becomes very difficult to not only manage your weight, but also to uh, live a healthier lifestyle. So just kind of recap for you guys. Number one, emotional brain, appetite regulation, all those hormonal things, they all get thrown off and your brain is going to make you feel hungry throughout the day and asking you to, to eat more food. Second thing is you're going to move less. That's just flat out what's going to happen. Third thing, your prefrontal cortex, the decisions around whether it's your nutrition, your job, your life, whatever, is going to be harder to make smarter decisions and you're not going to have as much resiliency and restraint um, to be able to make those decisions. And so it becomes very, very challenging. So get those, get that sleep in. Do as I say, not as I do. It is something that I'm definitely working on because I know the benefits of it, but you should definitely be working on it as well because sleep can be beneficial. So, um, yeah, so that's kind of with the sleep, guys. If you think this video was beneficial, please share it along. Um, it's all we ask. It's all the cost of this is that it's free content, but the cost is passing it along to people that you might f might think find it valuable. Um, any other questions, concerns, leave it in the leave it in the comments. But um, you can check us out again at healthcareevolve.ca for more tips and tricks and that sort of thing. And I'll have a new video coming out to you next week. And that'll kind of talk a little bit about well, what can we do to make sure we get a better night's sleep. Okay? Alright guys, have a good one.